In this video, I want to have a look at higher derivatives. So we've had a look at differentiation, but functions can actually, or a lot of functions, can actually be differentiated multiple times. So you differentiate, and then you differentiate that new function, and differentiate again and again and again. So that's what we want to have a look at in this video. So before we start differentiating, we need to have a bit of a closer look at our notation. So one of the notations we were using was we were calling our original function f of x and we were calling our derivative f dash of x. Now we're going to get a bit more specific and we're going to call this the first derivative instead of just the derivative. If we were to differentiate again our second derivative we'd have f of double dash x and our third derivative we'd have had the three dashes and you can continue that on as well. The other notation that we were using was if we had our original function called y then our derivative was dy dx so differentiating y with respect to x. So that's our first derivative. If we want to differentiate again to find our second derivative, we would write that as d squared y dx squared. So you're putting these little twos in there. If we wanted to differentiate a third time, we'd have d cubed x dx cubed. So we can continue that one on as well. So that's the notation. Let's have a look at some examples. So our first example asks us to find the first three derivatives of f of x equals x to the power of 5. So if we differentiate that the first time, we'd have f, oops, right in blue, not in red. We'd have f dash of x would give us 5x to the power of 4. So we draw 5 out the front, reduce the power by 1. Then we just do it again. So our second derivative, we're now differentiating this function. So 4 times 5 would give us 20, and our x would be to the power of 3. And if we find our third derivative, we're differentiating this new one, so 3 times 20 would be 60x squared. And we could continue going as well. Our second example asks us to find the first and second derivatives of y equals 2x to the power, sorry, 2 over x to the power of 4. So before we differentiate that, we actually want to rewrite it so that that x isn't in the denominator. So we'll just write, rewrite that function as y equals x to the power of minus 4. So now we can differentiate. So we'd find dy dx, or we could write it as y dash. Um, and we could, we're going to multiply that minus 4 by the 2, so we'd have minus 8x and reduce that power, so we'd have to the power of minus 5. Now we always want to put our derivatives back in the original form, so we'd rewrite that as minus 8 over x to the power of 5. Now to find our second derivative, We're going to differentiate this now. But rather than looking at it in this form, we're going to look at it in this form here and base our differentiation off that. So we're going to have minus 5 times minus 8 would give us positive 40, and we'd have x to the power of minus 6. And then again, we rewrite that back into its original form. So we would have 40 over x to the power of 6. Our last example asks us to find the first and second derivatives of f of x equals 2x minus 4, all to the power of 6. So this one we're going to have to use the chain rule. So if we differentiate, we'd bring the 6 out front, so we're differentiating the outside and leaving the inside as it is, so that becomes the power of 5, and then multiplying by the derivative of the inside, which would just be 2. So we would have 12 outside of 2x minus 4 to the power of 5. Then we're going to differentiate this a second time. So we're going to have that 5 times 12, so 60. Leave the inside as it is to the power of 4, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is that 2. So we'd have 120 to the power of, sorry, outside of 2x minus 4 to the power of 4. So that's having a look at some higher derivatives.